Hey everyone, this is Lucky70x. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Sticker Star. In the last episode, we took on Bowser, actually, and we beat the game. But in this episode, um, well, it's the first extra episode. I'm not actually going to take on Bowser yet, though, because I'm going to... What I, what I want to do for this episode is, A, I'm going to show beating the hard version of the fish here, and get another Mega Flash uh, Infinity Jump, and then I'm going to spend the rest of this episode going over the sound test and the enemy database that we unlocked by completing the museum. Then in the next extra episode, we'll wrap up the game by taking on Bowser without using Kirsty or any of his weaknesses. It is possible I have done it, so um, we'll be doing that. So that's the plan in terms of extra videos, and then after that we'll have a closing video and wrap this project up. So for now, let's go ahead and take on this fish. I've done a lot of practice with this guy, and I think I have him down at least to the point where I think I can hopefully do this without dying. It's not easy, believe me. Um, the first thing is he's always going to go charge in the, mi in the middle here. The one thing, okay, so the strategy for this fish is you want to stay around here, like in between this and that, because um, he'll do this, but if you are in the position, you, he'll go wherever you initially were. So if you go there, you'll, you can head to the left and escape him easily by that. And then uh, if he tries to charge you, you'll also be in a position to dodge that. Um, if he waits a while, he's going to be charging you straight. The one thing to watch out for, the one thing that will probably trip me up, is if he tries to head to the... Um, always be ready to move to the right, because he will sometimes, essentially... Um, you always have time to move to the left. So always stand to the right, and always be ready to move to the right. Because sometimes he'll move to the left and then charge you. And if you start heading to the left, and then... Ooh, ooh he's coming back. Uh, if you start moving to the left, and then... Uh, he, he's, he charges you to the left, you're almost always going to get killed and get a game over. So you always want to be ready to move to the right... Um, you can always dodge every other attack. Oh, this might be a bit close, though. No? Okay, well, this is gonna hit me, but that's okay. I don't care if that hit. Um, I can take- you can take a few hits. I still have, you know, I can still take three more hits. The important thing is to be ready to dodge this. Uh, I'm gonna take a hit here. I didn't start moving quick enough, but I didn't die. And that's what's important. He'll probably do that once or twice. He might do that again here. Yeah, he's doing that again. Oh, God. Okay, he's hit my boat, which is a little unfortunate, but, uh... That being said, I feel like I'm actually in a good position here, because I can dodge this attack easily enough. Even if he comes up again, my boat's so small that's not going to matter. And we should be getting close to the end here. He usually doesn't do more than two charges like that, so... I expect this to be done really soon here. Okay, oh shoot, I'm not mentally prepared. I wasn't... I thought the thing would be over, but okay, I actually dodged it. If you commit to the right, you can still dodge that attack easily enough. That attack's the easiest to dodge, for sure. Okay, there we go. First try! Like I said, the key thing is to stay in that, like, sort of... That, that sort of mid-area and be ready to run to the left if he does any other attack other than moving to the left, in which case you have to be ready to run to the right. So don't always go left. You need to know when you have to move right, because that will get you every time. You can take hits! Nothing wrong with taking hits. You can take enough hits and still be fine. The key is to, you know... Just not get eaten alive, and that will happen really easily. So... That's how you take care of the fish on hard mode. Uh, I figured it was worth an extra video to do that, and then I can put in the sound test and the enemy database on top of this to make a, a decent length extra episode. So let's go ahead and pick up a Mega Flash Infinity Jump. I want another one of the... Another, having another Infinity Jump for the uh, Bowser. I'm going to be use, abusing Infinity Jumps for the record in this Bowser fight. So, oh, come on, I want to make it. Got a good... I made it in here. Wasn't quite paying attention, but uh, it worked out anyway. So in case, just just as a refresher, if you want infinity jumps for the Bowser fight, the Mega Flash one can be found back here. So we'll grab that. Mmm, that Mega Flash. Mmm. And uh, we can go ahead and do the sound test and the enemy thing, like I said. And then, I'm really excited to show off Bowser, though. That's going to be a good extra video, I'm telling you guys right now. It's an intense fight, and there, I have a trick, I have I have my methods to get past it. It's not easy, but it's doable, and it's really fun. So I'm looking forward to it immensely. Anyway, um, it, it definitely takes like you know using the maximum amount of. You really need to know the, how to how to abuse this game to do Bowser without doing that. It is doable though. You just really have to abuse the system, and I will show you guys exactly how to abuse the system next episode. For now though, we do boring sound test and enemy database stuff. I try not to cough out a lung because I still have con cold. Because uh, it's, it's been a couple weeks since Magfest, actually. But um, I've just 
You get that cold and you get that cough that just doesn't go away. Like, you don't notice it until you try to talk for, like, YouTube for a long time. And then you're like, oh my god, I want to hack out a lung. Those of you who were at my stream a, while, a little while ago, the link to the past one, probably notice me almost cough out a lung. It's nasty. Anyway, let's, uh, so we can go ahead and just check out the different songs in the game. You got your Detective Mario. It's a very odd selection of sounds because it doesn't have a lot of the good ones. Like, it doesn't have any of the battle themes. It just has these, like, sort of weird themes like this one. It's a thing. Um, I guess I should try to talk, though, because, you know, Nintendo copyright, blah, 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 so as long as I'm talking, they can't really catch it. But they have the sort of rampaging uh, music, like, when bad stuff is happening. So they have that one, too. We have Kirsty the sticker. I guess this one only shows up when you first meet Kirsty. Because I can't remember ever hearing this. But, uh, I mean, the soundtrack is really good. Just You just miss out a lot. I hope they at least have, like... They should still have the snow theme, I would think. I would hope they would. I mean, they have the very basic Paper Mario stuff. This is you know, the, the basic level sound. We have the, uh... The Goomba invasion. When the Goombas are trying to fight us. I mean, this, it, it's, there are a lot of different tracks in this game, that's for sure. They certainly is a thing. We have the Bowser Jr. theme. He actually has a pretty interesting theme, if you think about it. I dig it. So they have that. Um, oh yeah, it's the Goomba Wheel. Remember that thing? That was a thing. Yeah. So they, like, like, they have all these specific enemy soundtracks, but they don't really have like the battle soundtracks, which is weird. We have the fight right before, you know, all the big bosses. The uh, intense lead up to the boss music, which isn't here because, like I said, they don't have the the good boss music for some reason. We do have the, the desert <laughs> a thousand miles away on a magic carpet ride. Agrabah. We have the uh, paratroopers that evade from above on the pyramid. So yeah, like I said, they have these weird ones, but they don't have boss themes as far as I'm aware. They do have the Kamek theme, though, and the Kamek theme is wonderful. I love the Kamek theme. It's as whiny and obnoxious as he is. It's very fitting. Like I said, the soundtrack is definitely one of the highest points of this game. The soundtrack of this game is really good. I love the soundtrack. It's just a lot of other things that fall flat. And we'll have a another nice big discussion about that in the closing video, I'm sure. So, uh... The Poison Woods, we've, we've certainly heard this theme enough. We were... We were had a lot of levels in that area, that's for sure. The World 3 is pretty lengthy. Not a terrible world, though. Just, eh. And we have Angry Wiggler! Yeah, the soundtrack is just... I, I, like I said, I want you guys to listen to it, but... Due to copyright things, I kind of want to start being able to talk over the music, because it minimizes chances of that happening, and Nintendo's kind of unfortunately a little bit crazy about that. Love you, Nintendo, but... Seriously. Um, <laughs> the Wiggler music's awesome. Oh, I accidentally pressed A. The Wiggler music's awesome, though. And like I said, I can't even go back because the sound test is screwed. How can you screw up a sound test, by the way? I can't even go back and show that again because a back button was apparently not something I thought about you needed in a sound test, and I can't even, like, like, like I said, if I leave my chair and I sit back down, it just stays in the song. It's not a very good sound test, by any means. They have this song, that's kind of cool. Is it going to do like the full, like, Bloober theme at some point, though? I don't think so, it's kind of like the intro to the theme, though. It's very interesting, you know, I mean, a lot of these themes you don't get to hear very often, so it's cool that you get to hear them again, just... I want to hear the freaking Goober Blooper theme! That thing's awesome! That's like the best soundtrack in the game! But no, unfortunately not. We get the the giant fish attack. We get that instead. That's cool and all. We do get this. We get the Birdo theme. I guess it's all the really really niche themes, but I, I don't know. I just I don't understand why they did this sound test the way they did. The menu is really sloppy. The soundtrack selection isn't even fully there, as far as I'm aware. I'm pretty sure I've seen everything. So the Enig Mansion, we've. I've certainly heard enough of this in the hour-long episode it took to do this level. Jeez. Oh, we do get this song, though. It makes you realize there's a lot of interesting, you know, unique fights that happen throughout this game. It's kind of cool how they do this. I sort of dance in my chair while I record now, because this song is groovy! Is groovy as hell, yo! Dance to that beat! Mmm! 
Anyway. We do have this remix, which is always good. Da 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 You gotta love this song. It's so classic. So classic. So is this one. Very classic remixes. Gotta love Super Mario 64. So we have the jungle. Um, we've certainly heard this theme plenty of times as well. So there's that. Well, we just heard this song like two seconds ago, so that's to that. Um, the really cool runes theme. The runes theme is so awesome. I love it. It's such a good theme. And of course we have the mountain theme. Good old volcano. World 5 was really cool. I do love World 5. World 4 and World 5. Did we had... Did it not have the snow music? Like, the really happy snow music? I don't think it did! How could it not have the happiest song in the... <sighs> this sound test is weird. Another sort of remix sort of song. Kind of. Kind of. This one's certainly a classic. Gotta love the airship theme. It's so good. It is so good. Anyway, then you even get the uh, the Bowser theme, which is why I didn't show this right when I got it, because I didn't want to spoil Bowser. That's that's why I did that. But uh, you have when he shows up, and then it's done. It cycles through, and you don't even get the battle themes, right? Nope. So no battle themes. I'm pretty sure it didn't have the snow theme. I'd cycle through and check, but you guys, you guys will be able to see if uh, they had it or not, and if I'm just forgetting it or not. I would have said something about it, though. I can't, but it's my favorite song in the game! So, did they just leave that out random? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Anyway, now for the enemy gallery, which is weird, because you have to pay for it! And then you get to sort of, oh, it doesn't, wow, it, it still, it, it, this is back from the ones that we, uh, left it at, back when I saved. So we don't even get the full gallery. I save, reset the game, and it's still just showing off this one. So we missed the Goombas and all that, but we could see that in previous episodes. So we'll go through the rest of the gallery now and see what else they have in here. We got the Poke Bros. Oh, man. They just like to attack, and you get to see their Crumple status and their Dizzy status, too, I believe. Um, you get to see all those statuses, I guess. So, uh, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting enemy gallery, but once again, terrible options because you can't cycle through it, and you have to go through the whole thing just to get back to the beginning. Which is just silly. Paragoombas are here, though, so that's cool. Um, yeah, these guys! I love these guys. They're pretty awesome. They like to throw their hats at us. We got our dizzy statuses as well and stuff like that. Nah, they just shove their, their joint attack, I guess. Whatever. Hey, it's a... That's right, you have a time limit on this... What bright ideas? Oh, we're gonna make an element enemy gallery that you have to pay for, and that you have a time limit to view! How can you screw this up? How... how do you screw this up? How do you screw this up? This badly? Seriously? I... I don't even know. I don't understand how you could just be that... ridiculous when it comes to just like, oh... We're gonna make a thing, but we're gonna make it timed for no reason other than and make you pay coins for it for no reason other than because it's inconvenient and stupid. Like, thanks, game. Thanks for just being. I don't even. I don't have words. I don't have words for how just inane that kind of. Just, ugh. I hate to rant about this game, but it makes it too easy. It makes it so gosh dang darn easy. At least the ninjis are cool. You can't hate ninjis. You can't hate ninjis. At all. I guess they can't be crumbled because they didn't really have a crumble. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't question this game anymore. I don't question this. the logic of this enemy. T <sighs> I sigh every time. It's really obnoxious. Anyway, so, uh, I mean, that's. this is a, their attack. They don't even show off all the attacks. They only show off one of the attacks, so there's not really much of a purpose anyway. Gotta hurry up, else we're gonna have to pay more money because we're gonna run out of time. They're shooting, they're shooting things at our butt. It's really obnoxious. Um, we got the spiny guy. We've seen these guys before. So, I mean, they have an interesting enemy selection. Just, oh my god, how can you just? It's, uh, I, I can't. You can't even blame Miyamoto for this one because you can blame Miyamoto for a lot of the things that he forced on this game. But this one, no, that's just whoever designed this part of the game. Seriously, just. Why? 
Like, why would you even... It, it, it's just... It's such stupid design. I can't... I don't have words for how terribly that poorly designed that is. Oh, well. I'm done ranting. Um, so we got these guys. We'll just cycle through the rest. And any moment now, it's gonna... There we go. Yep. Oh, man. This is totally realistic and fun. Screw you, museum guy. Screw you. You rude. Hey, boo! Bloogity, bloogity, blue! I like the boos, they're fun. Anyway, um, we got the little rat thing that no one cares about because they just steal our shit and they're rude. Oh, fuzzies! You gotta love fuzzies. You touch them, you get dizzy. They're not really that kind of fuzzy, but you can pretend. Because touch fun as you get dizzy is like the best level. <laughs> Oh, shy guy, you can't even attack properly. Oh, I guess you can. I guess I lied. That's funny, though. He just kind of trips. Hey, spear guy! It's kind of interesting they put the shy guy in the snow area, not in the jungle area, because he's or not in the uh, swamp area, because you technically see them there first. So, that's interesting. Uh, hammer bro. Oh, hey, look. We ran out again. Hey. <sighs> How? How do you... How do you get that wrong? How do you get that wrong? I don't understand how you can get that wrong! Game! Game! You're so silly! Anyway, fire bros... I mean, they're technically in the volcano area, not in the jungle area, but whatever. And then, uh, we got our airship enemies, we got our rocky wrench. With his wrenches! And his rocky! Oh, he looks so cute when he's dizzy. Rocky Wrench is a silly little thing. And then you got these guys, which... Hey, at least they drew from the new Super Mario Bros. pool of enemies. You know, the few enemies that new Super Mario Bros. actually added. But, uh... Does that mean we cycle through? We cycle through! I guess we can quickly just... I mean, I've shown these off, so I can quickly cycle through the ones that... The Goomba, the Koopa. The Buzzy Beetle. The Spiny. What else do we got? The bomb -omb. And then we're back to start here. So... That's the enemy test and the sound test. Super poorly implemented, but they're there at least, and unlockable in a very... I don't know, I just... Don't question this game, guys. It's just... It's its a strange little thing that they made. I don't even know. But anyways, that's it for this extra episode, guys. In the next episode, we have the stickers we need. Well, no, we actually don't have the stickers we need. In between episodes, I'm going to get the stickers we need, though. And I have a strategy for taking down Bowser, and we're going to implement it in the next episode, guys. Believe me, it will be something fun to watch. So I'll see you guys then. It's Lucky70X signing out. Bye-bye.